Bam. Oh. What is the most painful award show to sit through? Everyone always says, oh, they're so much fun. It's such an honor to be here, but I know some of them have to be painful for you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Interviews Under the Influence. I'm Sophie Shalasi with ET, and today we are playing Five Shots with Florida Georgia Line. I have in my hand a bunch of real talk questions. Here, this is where the real fun comes in. These are the drunk talk questions. When you pull a question from this tower, if you do not want to answer the question, you are going to have to take a shot. All right. If you do play ball, then you're gonna force me to take a shot. First player to five shots loses, and today we are drinking Old Camp whiskey. So to start, tell me about how you guys came up with Old Camp. Well, Old Camp is the whiskey that we developed. This is our peach pecan flavor, so a little bit of Florida, a little bit of Georgia right there. It's just something we're really proud of. We spent all last year developing the flavor and, and the branding and the bottle and all that. Man. <laughs> I'm getting that one right there. Real smooth. Woo! Shag, Mary, kill. We've got Thelma and Louise, Lucy and Ethel, and the Judds. And, and I have to drink if I don't answer? You have to drink if you don't answer. I'm gonna drink that one. Drink that one away. Mm -hmm. Already? We'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Come on. Bam. Oh. What is the most painful award show to sit through? Everyone always says, oh, they're so much fun. It's such an honor to be here, but I know some of them have to be painful for you guys. Oh. So many award shows, I don't want to name the wrong one. So you got to check first. Yeah, that's fine. No. 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 Those are the fun ones. They're all fun. I would say <laughs> any award show that you're hung over at. That was a sneaky answer. I don't know if I'm going to let that one slide. That was his that answer anyway. That was a politically correct <laughs> answer. What's your answer? Don't answer. Don't don't, not that answer. <laughs> not that answer. Okay, I'll drink to it. You guys are not off to a good start here. Okay, well, we'll give you a freebie here that you do not need to drink for. In your video for May We All, there's a pretty heated fight scene. What are you guys most likely to fight about in real life? Whose house we're probably going to record vocals at. When we're home for two days every month, we really don't want to leave the house, but we want to write songs. So it's, it's a give and take. Okay. We'll write one in the tree house, we'll write one at the farm. Good balance, no doubt. Dealer's choice. Okay, I have a couple questions here that I tailored for you guys. If you had to replace your bandmate with a member of one of the Backstreet Boys, who would it be and why? <clears throat> Let's see here. I'm gonna go with Nick. He's the youngest, so you know he's got more he's got longevity there. I'm just kidding guys, I love all you guys. Very cool. Alright, well here we go. Yeah. We're one and one, right? Yeah, <laughs> who's keeping track? <laughs> and this is so mean. <laughs> Who would you rather die than collaborate with? Oh, I'm gonna probably drink to that one. That's, that's, that's just offensive. I could probably think of somebody, but that's just mean, so I'm just gonna drink. Right. Cheers, cheers to that. Cheers. cheers to not being mean. <laughs> that's one. I got dealer's choice dealer's again. Dealer's choice. Your breakout single, Cruise, has been certified gold and platinum. How much money have you made off that song? <laughs> Do you know? I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a nice little sip of this old <laughs> camp. <laughs> yeah. Drink and not know how much money you made. That's, That's a good place to be. Read us your last text exchange with. Luke Bryan. Jason Aldean or Tim McGraw? Okay, first we'll start with Jason, even okay. though there is still no response. Ha ha ha. Thanks again for having us tonight, bro. Great folks and good time. Miss being on the road together. Y'all sleep good. Jason. Hey, but I know he misses us. I can tell. <laughs> I know he does. Another no response. This is to Luke. Okay. Yo, low key friend hang at Citizen after the award show. No extras, just good friends. <laughs> Food and drinks on us. Can't wait. <laughs> Luke kindly declined. No, well, he was there, but there's no oh, response. We're, we're friends too, you know, okay. he knows me. We're, we're tight. <laughs> well, here we go. Thanks, Tyler. All right. I'm proud of you for playing along with this. I am, just so everyone knows, I'm not drinking water. This is real. Whoa! That means someone's got a drink. Well, here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna answer yeah. this one right cool, here. Cool, there you go. Have you ever gone on stage after a few too many? What happened? Ah! I'd say probably a couple years ago, to be honest. Yeah, I probably had a couple too many, but like a pro, finished the show and pulled myself together. Are you you oh, got a drink? That, yeah, yep. That's me, that's yeah, don't me. you forget. Tihab, you want to pick one from the rubble there? Describe your most uncomfortable run in with another celebrity. I actually have a story for you. I was in Rome with me and my wife in a hotel. I go across the hallway to the pool. Haley's still in the gym working out, and so is Owen Wilson. Haley's like, Tyler, you should tweet 
uh, at Owen Wilson and maybe just see if he's a fan of country music and maybe he just happens to want to hang out with us and have a drink later. And so I did. I got on Twitter. I said, what's up, man? <clears throat> Tyler here, Florida Georgia Line, happened to be in the same hotel you're at in Rome. A few hours go by. We're at lunch. Haley's, tw check your Twitter. He tweets me back with a little wine glass and says yes. We're showering up, getting all ready. I'm going to have a drink with Owen Wilson tonight. So we go down to the bar, sit there for about an hour. He doesn't show up. So we go to the restroom on the way out of the bar right before we walk into dinner. I come out of the bathroom. Sure enough, here comes Owen Wilson walking down the hallway. So I'm like, what's up? There he is, what's up? He didn't know me. Oh no. Nor did he even have Twitter. I got catfished by <laughs> Owen Wilson in Rome. And then he turned around and asked me what band I was in again. I told him Florida Georgia Line. He said, cool. And then. Walked on down the hallway. It was quite humiliating and embarrassing, and I was actually that guy. So, thanks Owen Wilson and Tyler. I'm gonna go for this guy right here. What is the most embarrassing thing on your iPod? For some reason, I have the song uh, Tootsie Roll by the 69 Boys. I don't know where that came from, but uh. Here we go. All right. You guys are victorious. It's yes. two verse one. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let me know in the comments below, who do you want to see do an interview under the influence? Also, you can reach me on Twitter, I am at Sophie Shalacy, and be sure to subscribe to ET on YouTube. And please, please, please always remember to drink responsibly.